Teresa's Kitchen. Back in 1984, when TGI Fridays was still fairly new, I had one of their signature sandwiches. After the first bite, I knew I was going to have to recreate this at home, and I did. The sandwich most frequently shows up when my family comes to visit after they've been driving all day long because it's so easy and quick to put together. Let's see what we're going to need. To get started, we're going to need some bread. Now the original TGI Friday sandwich was made with a Kaiser roll, but I happen to like the ciabatta rolls better. I think they just hold up. And in fact, when I make this for my whole family, I buy a whole ciabatta baguette, slice the whole thing in half, open it up, and cook it all in the oven. Make a one long submarine sandwich. You can use whatever you like best. We're going to need some sub sauce. Now I've made my own, but you could just use whatever you like best, or you can make your own too. I have sliced fresh mozzarella, although my husband does like this better with sliced provolone. I've got lettuce and sliced sweet onions. Now I'm going to be using ham, turkey, and pepperoni. That's what the original sandwich had, although you could use whatever suits your tastes. The first thing we need to do is toast our bread. These are done toasting. The tops come out and go on a board, and the bottoms are going in this pan. This sandwich gets broiled, so I need to move my rack down. Okay, both the tops and the bottoms get a splash of sub sauce. And then depending on the size of your bun, you just put one, two, or three slices of each ham, turkey, and pepperoni on them. And then I like to put a whole slice of the sweet onion on here. And now we just top this with slices of fresh mozzarella. These sandwiches are going under a low broiler because I want the sandwiches to heat up before the cheese melts and burns. Each of these tops gets a nice slice of lettuce. All right, this looks pretty good. I think that was about seven minutes. time to taste this sandwich. Now I've been eating these since 1984 so that should give you a slight hint of how good they are. I probably am not going to be able to say anything. Perfect! Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our recipes. Don't forget to like our Facebook page for behind the scenes pics and videos and follow us on Twitter for sneak peeks of upcoming videos and the random cat picture.